Hello, I'm JP and welcome to my channel, Roving Chestnut. If it's your first time here, you might want to consider subscribing. In today's video, I'm excited to announce that I have added an additional camera, the Canon M6 Mark II, which I'll be using alongside my existing Canon M50 and Canon G7X Mark II. And I'll be using the M6 Mark II with the Sigma trio of lenses, some Canon lenses, and on my DJI Ronin SC gimbal. Additionally, at the end of this video, I've produced a short how I filmed my unboxing. Hope you enjoy. Arriving yesterday, the Canon M6 Mark II was not actually the color scheme that I actually wanted. I did want the silver and black retro color scheme version, but unfortunately for some reason, the all black version I purchased was a better deal, discount, so I went with that one. Let's have a closer look now and see what came in the box. While we do that, I want to mention a bit about why I have added this camera as it may not be an obvious apparent reason, especially as I already have a Canon M50. First of all, I have an additional channel and between this channel and my other one, I'm trying to be a little bit more creative with my filming. And I was actually considering a second M50 prior to making the decision to go with the M6 Mark II. The main deciding factor for the M6 Mark II opposed to a second M50 was the 4K with Canon's dual pixel autofocus. Slow motion at 1080p, flip over adjustable screen just like the G7X Mark II. And also, I have enjoyed making the informative videos I've done recently on this channel for the M50. And the M6 Mark II gives me more films I can make without there already being an oversaturation, which to be fair, the M50 related sector is pretty full. I was never gonna pick a second camera that was not compatible with my EFM mount lenses. And that, that would have been just silly if I had, especially considering how much I've spent on them recently and the fact that I really enjoy the uh, Sigma range trio that I've got at the moment. That said, you can expect many more M50 related videos, but also M6 Mark II versions as well. My plan for the M6 Mark II videos include vlogging with various lenses, B-roll, settings, remote camera control, and each of the Sigma Trio lenses on the M6 Mark II while on a gimbal. Having both the M50 and the M6 Mark II does allow for me to keep picture quality consistent while filming content of the other camera. Not forgetting, once we're off lockdown, I can't wait to be filming some more of my Roving Chestnut series. Check it out, link above, blatant push there. As I promised at the beginning of this video, I have now done a how I filmed the unboxing and uh, what equipment I used video for you. Over to me on the M50 with the Sigma 16mm f1.4 vlogging style. And just before that happens, I want to ask you a massive favour. If you could just press that like button for me, now that would be really appreciated. And if you're not already subscribed, why not smash that button too? Both those things will make a massive difference to my young new channel that really does need the likes and subscribers. Thank you. I'm in the kitchen and I have just finished filming the unboxing of the M6 Mark II, an additional camera for my channels on YouTube. I want to now show you how I do the filming of the unboxing. I've here, I have a ring light which is adjustable, LED one. So I can turn it up and turn it down to get the right lighting depth on the actual uh, desk area, table area there. Over here is the tripod going up. Across on top of the tripod there is a selfie stick, which I attach on. And then from there, at the top of the selfie stick facing down is a Canon G7X Mark II. If I just turn that on, you'll be able to see there's the screen. So when I'm here, looking down, that's facing there, filming whatever's there, and I'm this side, moving it. From that, we have the uh, spinning uh, 
uh, product shot. Now that spinning product shot is done with this little device here, which I shall uh, bring here, this device. That is an electric cake display turner and that has the whiteboard there on top of it. And I put the uh, product on top of that whiteboard, filming from this angle, towards the back over there where that purple light is shining onto the backdrop and that's how we do it thank you to me for that little insight i do hope that has been interesting and if you have any preferences of videos i should make first or additional ideas in relation to what videos you'd like me to make please drop them in the comment section below i'd love to get the feedback and i'll be more than happy if possible to do that for you I look forward to seeing you on the next video and don't forget to like, subscribe and all that fabulous stuff that makes the channel work. Till next time, JP out.